guys today i want to tell you something about the pacific ocean so pacific ocean body of the salt water extending from the 60 degrees parallel in the south to the arctic in the north and lying between the continents of asia and australia on the west and north america and south america on the east of three major oceans, the Pacific is by far the largest, occupying about one-third of the surface of the globe. Its area, excluding the South China Sea, encompasses about 62.5 million square miles. It has doubled the area and more than doubled the water volume of the Atlantic Ocean the next largest division of the hydrosphere, and its area more than exceeds that of the whole land surface on the globe. The Pacific Ocean stretches from the Bering Strait to 60 degrees latitude through more than 120 of latitude, nearly 9,000 miles. Its greatest Latitudinal extent measures some 20,000 miles, a long latitude 5 degrees, between the coast of Colombia in South America and the Malay Peninsula in Asia. The mean depth of the Pacific is 14,000 feet, and its greatest known depth is 36,000 feet in the Mariano Trench, also the greatest depth found in any ocean. In the Northern Hemisphere, the Pacific Ocean meets the Arctic Ocean in the Bering Sea. In the Southern Hemisphere, the Pacific and Atlantic mix in the relativity narrow Drake passage between Tierra del Fuge in South America and Granham Land in Antarctica and the Pacific Ocean and the Southern Ocean meet at 60 degrees parallel. The separation between the Pacific and Indian Oceans is less distinct, but generally it is considered to lie along the line of islands extending eastward from Sumatra through Java to Timor, since across the Timor Sea to Cap London, London Derry in Australia. To the south of Australia, the boundary extends across the Bass Strait and thence from Tasmania to 60 degrees. Because of the pattern of major mountain systems of the globe, a relatively small proportion of the total continental range enters the Pacific, a total drain drainage area of less than about three times the total area of Australia. Of the rivers that drain into Pacific south of China and Southwest Asia, Asia are of the greatest importance. The basins of those rivers support more than one fourth of, of the world's population. The eastern boundary of, of the Pacific is associated with the American Cordilleran system, which stretches from Alaska in the north to Tierra del Fuego in the south. Except for its extreme northern and southern sections, which are characterized by fjords and their numbers of flying islands, and except for the deeply intact Gulf of California, the coastal boundary is relatively regular and the continental shelf narrow. The western or Asiatic coastal boundary, in contrast, is irregular. Also, the mountain systems that lie roughly parallel to the coast, as they do on the eastern Pacific coastlands. The western Pacific is known for its many marginal seals. From north to south, they include the Bering Sea, the Sea of Ohtox, the Sea of Japan, the Yellow Sea, the East China Sea and the South China Sea. The eastern boundaries are formed by salt jutting peninsulas or island arcs or posts. It is of oceanographic significance 
that the great rivers of Eastern Asia included the Amur, the Huanghe, the Yangtze, the Xi and Pearl. And the Mekong enters the Pacific indirectly by way of the marginal seas. Uh, this article treats the physical and human geography of the Pacific Ocean for discussion of the physical and chemical oceanography and marine geology of the Pacific Sea Ocean. Physiography relief. The Pacific Basin may, may conveniently be divided into three major physiographic regions, the Eastern, Western and Central Pacific regions. Eastern region. The Eastern Pacific region, which extends southward from Alaska to Tierra de del Fujo, is relatively narrow and is associated, associated with the American Cordilleran system of almost unbroken mountain chains. The coastal ranges of which rise steeply from the western shores of North and South America. The continental shelf, which runs parallel to it, is narrow, while the adjacent continental slope is very steep. Significant ocean anic trenches in this region um, are the Middle America Trench in the North Pacific and the Perugil Trench in the South Pacific. Western region. The seaboard boundary of the Western Pacific region is marked by a broken line of oceanic trenches extending from the Aletian Trench in the north through the Kuril and Japan trenches and southward to the Tonga and Kermadets trenches, terminating close to the noses of North Island, New Zealand. Its, its structure is more complex than that of the eastern region, characteristically associated with the launch trenches of the western region are festoons of either peninsulas or island or both. The islands, which include those of Japan as well as numerous small, smaller islands, represent the upper parts of mountain system that rise abruptly from the deep ocean floor. The island clusters of the western Pacific from the boundaries of the several wide and deep continental seals of, of the region. Central region. The central Pacific region lies between the boundaries of the eastern and western regions. The larger and the most geologically stable of the structural provinces of the Earth's crust, it is characterized by ex expansive areas of low relief, lying at the general depth of about 15,000 feet below the surface. Principal ridges and basins to the east of longitude uh, 150 degrees, the relief of the ocean floor is considerably less pron pronounced that than it is to the west. In the eastern Pacific, the Cocos Ridge extends southwards from the Central America it zooms to the Galapagos Islands. To the south of the Galapagos lies the Peru Basin, which is separated by the extensive Sala Uncomas Ridge from the southeast Pacific Basin, which it in turn is separated from the southwest Pacific Basin by the East Pacific Rise and in the ultimate. Pacific Antarctic Ridge, which runs from the Sala Ucomas Ridge to Antarctica in the dictionary of 150 degrees. Extending uh, so, southward from the Tasman Basin between New Zealand and Easter Australia is the Macquarie Ridge, which forms a major boundary between the deep waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. The Hawaiian Ridge extends westwards from Hawaii to the 180 degrees meridian. 
uh, the submerged parts of the series of ridges that are covered by the island archipelagos of the western pacific are continuous and are to be found at depths of less than about 2000 feet six six hundreds and ten meters the ridges include the Aletian Ridge in the northwestern Pacific. The series of ridges extended southward through the Kuril, Bonin, and Mariana Island groups and the archaeologists of Yap and Palau. Those extend, extending eastward from New Guinea, including the Bismarck Archipelago and the Solomon and Santa Cruz Island chains. And Finally, the ridges extending southward, from which rises Samoa, Tonga, Kermadex, and Chagdam Islands groves, as well as Macquarie Island. Bottom deposits, apart from the narrow coastal dome of the eastern region and the broad continental seas of western region, the Pacific is floored with pelagic oceanic material derived from the remains of Mariana plants and animals that once inhabited the waters lying above. Red or brown radiolarian ooze is found along the zone of the Pacific North Equatorial Current, east of longitude 170 degrees, and on the floors of some deep Indonesian basins. A belt of the atom ores occurs between latitude 45 degrees and 60 degrees and across the North Pacific between Japan and Alaska. Calcaleris globigerina ores occurs in the shallower parts of the South Pacific. The dissolvent power of the salt water at great depths being sufficient to dissolve calcaleris calcareous materials to such an extent that these oozes are not generally found at depths in excess of about 15,000 feet, 4,600 meters. Silica containing material such as radiolarian and the atom ooze is found at greater depth, but even this sil Silicious remains and dissolved at very great depths, where the characteristic deposit is red clay. Red clay, which covers no less than half of the Pacific floor, is believed to be formed of colloidal, extremely finely divided clays derived essentially from the land. On the Abuso Plains, where sediments accumulate slowly, Chemical and biological processes lead to the formation of metal bearing coatings around objects such as the ear bones of fishes. The noodles so formed contain mother cheese, iron, nickel, copper, cobalt, and traces of other metals such as platinum. They cover large areas of the ocean floor in the Pacific. Similar, similar processes form coatings called uh, manganese crusts on the rock, on the rock su surfaces of sea mounds. Among the many different forms of land-derived mounds formed by the erosive action of rivers, tides and currents that floor uh, the continual shelves and slopes of the Pacific, the yellow mud of the Yellow Sea is of particular interest. The mud is conveyed to the seabed by the Huanqi, which drains a vast area of northern China, blanket with loans and fine granite soil islands. The islands of the western region, including the Alexians, the Kurils, the Ryukyus, Taiwan, the Malay Archipelago, and New Zealand, are continual, continual in character. Geologically, they consist partly of sedimentary rocks and their structures are similar to those of the coastal mountain ranges of the adjacent continent. 
the geologically important boundary between the continental or high islands and the numerous truly oceanic or low islands of the Pacific in is the and the sideline, a region of intense volcanic and seismic activity. In the northern and western Pacific, the Andesian line follows close to seaward the trend of the island arcs from the island southward to the Yap and Palau arcs. See, thence eastward through the Bismarck, Solomon and Santa Cruz, Achiel, Pelagos and uh, then southward through the Samoa, Tonga and Chantman groups and Makiwari Island to Antarctica. Islands to the west of the line are rich in and decide and a type of intrusive in general in rock. Islands to the east oceaning side of it are essentially of basalt and extractive in general rock. The numerous oceanic uh, islands of the Pacific are unevenly distributed. They lie in the main between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn and occur in great numbers in the western Pacific. The northernmost chain of oceanic islands is associated with the Hawaii ridge. The Hawaiian archipelago consists of about 2,000 islands. Also, the term Hawaiian Islands is usually applied to the small group that lies at the eastern end of the archipelago. Uh, the numerous small islands of Micronesia lie mainly north of Equator and to the west of the 180 degrees meridian. Nearly all are coralline, the principal groups are the Marians, the Marshalls, the Carolines, Gribati, and Tuvalu. Geology. Evidence, evidence drawn from various geo, geophysical fields, seismology, volcanology, gravitometry, and paleomagnetism points to the general validity of the theory of plate tectonics. All the major physical futures in the Pacific are understood to originate in plate tectonics. The western Pacific arcs of volcanic islands and deep trenches are convergent zones where two plates are colliding, one bit subducted. The East Pacific rise is an active spreading center where new crust is being created. The northern East Pacific margin is the strike slip zone where the American plate and the Pacific plate are gliding laterally past each other via the major San Andreas fault system. In the South Eastern Pacific, however, the Northern plate and the South American plate are colliding to form the Andes Mountains along Western South America and a short distance of offshore the Paruchil Trench. The floor of the North East Pacific is remarkable for its several major fracture zones, which extend east and west and which in some instances are identifiable over distances of South Mills. Of great geologic interest are the say, Sea Mounds, Giots and Erosion Islands of the Pacific. The numerous tropical islands uh, of the Pacific are mainly coralline. The principal types of coral reefs, fringing barrier and atoll, as well as the geodes which rise within the Pacific from the ocean floor in latitudes north and uh, souls of the tropics are uh, explained uh, partially by the slow uh, subsidence theory advanced by the English naturalist uh, Charles Darwin during the 19th century and uh, partially by the theory of plate of uh, plate tectonics. 
the effects that Pacific arcs of volcanic islands and deep trenches are convergent zones where two plates are colliding, one being subducted, forced under the other. The East Pacific rise in an active spreading center where new crust is being created. Okay, guys, uh, that's it. That's it for today. Bye bye.